In the following video, I will be explaining how to use the uh, speed detection uh, uh, instruction in ISPSoft. Uh, first of all, let's start going to our manual, the PLC manual, and we're going to find the speed detection function, which is the SPD. Uh, SPD uses uh, three operands, S1, S2, and D. Uh, let, let's see what what we, what uh, one what uh, one of these um, operands uh, do. So is is one S one is the external pulse input. Uh, S two will be the pulse receiving time that we're talking in milliseconds, and the result is going to be stored in the D operand. And let's see, first uh, SD, S1 uh, should be one of the PLC's uh, high speed uh, inputs. And, and let's see, for my model, I'm using the SX2. And for the SX2, here, SX2, we have um, high speed uh, inputs, it's uh, X0 and X2. And that's one phase, and for those two inputs, we can go up to 10 kilohertz. For the other inputs, uh, X1, X3, 5, and 7, uh, using the AB phase input, I mean, that that's the uh, two wires going in, we can go up to 5 kilohertz. And for the other, the 4 and 6 going in, in just a uh, one phase input, we can, for those inputs, we can only go to 10 kilohertz for this model. So you should check w w what is your mo models and see what's, uh, what's uh, available input is, is available for your PLC and also the speed. And we're talking here uh, high speed, so we're talking kilohertz. So if you're going to to check the speed of, of a motor, you, you, I don't think you, you're going to have any problems because for instance here we're talking 5 kilohertz so that, that, that should be it, it should, that should be enough so that's for S1 for X, S2 and uh, you can use a either um, like a constant or uh, a one of the devices or a counter or timer or one of the other constants and for that that's the, the pulse receiving time for instance, if you want to check uh, how many pulses per, per seconds do we have on, 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 on the PLC uh, in time we're using milliseconds, so we should use um, how many pul pulses per a thousand milliseconds. So that, that should be uh, one second. So how many pulses per second, and that that, that will give us the 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 speed right and the result is going to be stored on a D device on D and there's a note that says that five consecutive uh, devices will be used uh, for the PLC and on the there, there's a note underneath at the very end here no, no, note five and it tells you what why that does the PLC uses those devices for. For instance, D plus one will, and D will store the result of, result of previous pulse detection. D plus three and D plus two store the current accumulated number of pulses and D four stores the current time uh, remaining. So the PLC uses uh, five consecutive uh, devices, so try not to use those for, for any other purpose, just, the, just don't use it. But the, the one that is going to store the, the, the result will be the, the D, the D device, the very first, first one. The other five consecutive, there are, there are going to be used for, for, for uh, there the PLC is going to use it for, to calculate the, 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 the speed. So let's go to ISPSoft and the uh, program, the ladder logic program is pretty simple. I have the M1020, sorry, M1072 
which is um, a contact that will be activated whenever the PLC is on, on the run state. So if, if it is a uh, run, it will go, it will be activated. And you can use this for in your uh, in your program, in your ladder logic uh, programs. So that, that will mean that the speed detection will be um, activated. And for S1, uh, we're going to introduce X0. And that's the one of the high speed inputs of my PLC. And for the time, I'm going to use uh, 1000 milliseconds. So that's one second. And so how many pulses do I have per second? And the result is going to be stored on D0. And that, that should be out. You can download that to your PLC. So I already did that. So just to visualize the, the what, what the PLC is doing is not necessary. But I'm going to use a um, DLP soft. And what I did just uh, put um, a meter here. Just a graph for to, to visualize the, the, the results of, of, the, of the speed. So I use the, um, I'm targeting the address on my PLC, the address D0. And I just said that the maximum number of, of um, for this um, uh, meter should be uh, one five uh, 500, uh, uh, that does 500 volumes. So that, that will be 500 pulses per second. So yeah, just to have uh, just to have a scale here and pretty much okay so you can download that to, to the HMI okay so now I'm going to open my camera and now I have uh, running the, the program on the HMI and on the, PL, on, the, on the PLC which is inside so I connected, the, connected this MPG and I connect one of the inputs to the X0 um, inputs of my, of, of my PLC. So for every little stop, step I make, uh, the MPG triggers uh, one pulse on the X0 input of my PLC. So this uh, MPG has um, per 100, 100 pulses per revolution. So um, right now I'm sending uh, about like uh, 1,000 pulses per per second, and let me do a close up of the of the screen. So whenever I'm turning the MPG, it's creating 1,000 pulses per second. If I increase the speed, I'll go over uh, 200 pulses, and if you go even higher it will go um, even higher than that so you can use that to 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 see what's the, the the speed so if you want to see how i connected this this mpg to a plc i should then there's a video that talks about that so i will leave the the link on the description below or on one of the um, cards on, on, on top so you can use the, the, those links to to see how I connected this, this MPG. But if you're going to use uh, something else, for instance, a sensor on a motor, and you can use one of those um, uh, optical sensors to, to get the, the, the input and get it, on, get it on, on, the, on the PLC. So this is the, the way you detect the, the, the speed of, uh, of a motor or something else. Uh, we, with the PLC using the SPD uh, instruction. If you have any question, please leave it on the comments below. If you want to subscribe, uh, you can do, do so. So I'll be using this channel for, the, um, for, for my videos in, in English. So if you're an uh, English speaker, you can subscribe to, to this channel. And eventually, I'm going to I will going to try to translate the other Spanish videos that I have into into English. That way, you, you will be able to do to to uh, to see how the the other videos in, in a language that you can understand. Because in some of the other videos, I taught how to connect the the PLCs. 
to the HMI, the two different PLCs to the HMI, and all other different kinds of, uh, of connection. Also, this is how to connect the servo to the HMI or the servo to, to the servo, uh, servo motor to, to, to the PLC. So they're pretty, pretty useful, so it should be available for you in, your, in, in a language that you can understand. Okay, th thank you, thank you so much.